This creek doesn't actually have a name, but it starts up the road here about two miles. The creek may not have a name, but the ranch does. It's the old Wilson place, and third generation cattle rancher Weldon Wilson has a lot on his mind here late in the afternoon of the coldest day of the year. That's good. Now, is there a horse in that corner pen? Oh, it may not be fancy, but this boxcar turned bunkhouse means the world to Weldon. You got a lot of, uh, a lot of memories in here too. What's that? Well, that's my, my mother and dad's mailbox that uh, we had out in the country. What are some of these things up here? Well, over here in the far corner is a walking cane. My grandpa called it, and he used it during his latter years. Do you realize how few people today would know what some of this stuff was? <laughs> yeah. But it's important to you? Yeah. How come? I think of grandpa. This is how you were raised, isn't it? Yeah. Important to keep that around, isn't it? Yeah. It's a part of history that's gradually fading away. Memories, it seems, plus a steadfast attachment to the past are things that can usher in a flood of emotion. And there is something else Weldon Wilson is attached to, this herd of pure Texas Longhorn cattle. So when you look at them all and they're staring back at you, what do you think? I think <laughs> Uh, it's just kind of a, a peaceful feeling. They're, it's kind of, they're friends. And like he's done for years, Weldon needs to move these longhorns to another pasture some 16 miles away. And he'll do it like they did so long ago. A real honest to Charles Goodnight, old fashioned Texas cattle drive. They really look good. The cattle are in good shape. Are they ready for the trip? Tomorrow? They're they're ready for the trip. So now all we're waiting on is, is sunrise tomorrow morning. We're waiting on sunrise. Boy, some good looking horse flesh here. We got two cowboys from Alpine and one from Bastrop and one from just southeast of San Antonio. And then we got three of us here locally. And then we got one from Midland. Because this is the real deal. You're, you're not doing this just for a show. No, 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 you're exactly right. This is tending to business. I want to get there with as many as I left with. Here we go. Nine cowboys spread out in formation in what used to be a common sight across Texas. These days, though, you'd be hard-pressed to find a parade of purebred cattle like this. Before it's all done, they'll travel down everything from dusty county roads to paved highways. For Weldon and these cowboys, well, it's just another day in the saddle. You look on up the road and your cowboys are up there and everything's fine. Yeah, it feels good. All we have to do mainly is keep them between the fences. Hello, let's go. A lot of people think, oh, hey, you know, I'd be scared to get in there with those, all those horns. Those old cows know where the tips of those horns are. We have the DPS and the Sheriff's Department that blocks traffic. Because this is Texas. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. This is what we do. The, the cows got the right of way. <laughs> Help. Hope we don't get a stampede started. <laughs> it's an opportunity. You don't mind the cold. Because it's something you don't see very often anymore. Whoop, 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 whoop. Weldon has always opted to do these cattle drives not on the back of a horse, but on what's now a 16-year-old mule, an experienced animal that's put in a lot of trips on these Texas back roads. And it just stands to reason of all the miles this herd must travel today, crossing a major U.S. highway is the thing that puts even the best cowboy a little on edge.
you've got this movement going, so you don't want to slow it down if you can help it. There's kind of an art to getting them across that highway and not stopping the movement. I always take two or three good deep breaths when I get across 377. The last time we drove them, there was a lady pulled up beside me in a car and I was riding along and she said, this is the most awesome thing I have ever seen in my life. Did you know she said at my age, it's, I have never seen this done. Charles Goodnight would be proud of you, you know. Five and a half, six hours in the saddle. It goes by when you're having fun. You, you don't realize it. It's not work. Hello, let's go. Tell me again why it is you're riding a mule. What cause my dad rode one. So you're, you're riding in honor of your dad? Yeah. seems most of the world has moved on from the days when a cattle drive was commonplace. But we found a place where twice a year the clattering of hooves and the rhythmic chorus of longhorn cattle stops traffic. And for just a moment, time itself stands still as the Texas landscape is once again christened with a moving image of the past. How long will you do it? Well, of course, I don't know <laughs> how many years I got left. But however many years that is. That's how long you'll do this. It's that important. Yeah. 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 